Second half, the defense, uh, especially kind of on the backside, was was lacking. Whether it was rotations and learning each other, what are the things that you notice out there, and, and how how do you think you guys can make up some ground there with all the new personnel in order to try and close games out? Um, yeah, we just got to do a better job of closing quarters. Um, we let uh, Pool get going in that third, and kind of just kept one kept him around, and then got the lead. Um, his rotations. You know, uh, you know, I'm not saying it's an excuse, but AB haven't had one practice with us. Obviously, he know our system kind of the same defensively. He's a great defensive player. We had some miscues. I had a miscue on the Wiggins three in front of our bench, um, ready to go help to block. Um, be at least a shot, kicked it out. Um, some offensive rebounds, but they they uh, they hurt us with a three towards the end of the game, and we just got to be able to. Get our schemes. Um, not gonna overreact. Obviously, we don't have all our guys, but um, it's a game that we definitely could have won. Hey, D. Um, you you know how this defense is supposed to work. Um, you, you've executed the last two years very well. What's it sort of like the process, kind of rebuilding it back up, getting everyone kind of and, and seeing just it isn't quite where you guys want it to be. Yeah, we put the scheme in for. Our guys, and now our guys are hurt. You know, no Wayne, no K9, no Taylor. Um, and so now we got guys who <clears throat> playing out of position, you know, uh, a little bit. And then, like I say, adding AB, um, we haven't had a chance to um, get re familiar with the scheme. So um, I think we'll be fine, you know, as long as we continue to talk. I mean, we, we play great defense most of the night. Uh, like I said, we just had some miscommunications at the wrong time. And they made us pay every time. So we just got to continue to <clears throat> to push, uh, continue to get better. Um, I told Russ and Brown today, you know, Russ is very hard on himself. Um, and I told him today, I said, I think I'm only three in my Lakers season openers. So it doesn't, I mean, it's game one. You know, and the same way he's feeling right now, the same way I was feeling my first year here. Um, you know, I had a little reassurance from LB, and we were fine. So, um, you know, we'll be fine. You know, we'll figure it out. He'll figure it out. But, you know, we'll figure it out together as a team on a defensive end for sure. AD, um, Frank said that of all the guys who are new here and, and need to adjust, Russ probably has the highest, um, is, is going to have the biggest adjustment just to get comfortable playing with you guys. Um, what, did you, what did you see was maybe he was struggling with t tonight? And, and, and how do you feel about that fit going forward now that you have, you know, one game under your belt? Um, he got to be himself. You know, I think a lot of times, and even in the preseason, you know, he, he wants to get everyone involved. Um, and rightfully so, that's what he do. You know, you have a triple-double. Um, so you want to get those assists and, and get guys going, which open up the lane for him. But uh, a lot of times, when they get there, they fan back out, and now he have a wide-open layup or a dunk, but he's looking to pass. So we just want him to be himself, be aggressive. Um, you know, be Russell Westbrook. You know, be the reason why. We traded for you, and um, once you do that, everyone else will figure out how to play around him. Um, so it's a, it's a learning experience, and like I say, it's first, you know, it's game one for our first game, and we'll we'll continue to, to build you know, around him and make him more comfortable where um, he can have those those games that we're used to. Point lead with about a minute left in this third quarter. Just wondered what you saw from that point on. If if things changed and something stood out specifically. Yeah, well, we didn't finish quarters well the whole night. You know, I think they closed the gap at the end of the third, and then um, you know, obviously we gave up a 38 point fourth quarter. So if you do that, you're going to lose most nights. Um, you know, defense just just not on a string yet. I thought we did a good job being up on Steph, but um, you know, the backside uh, was much better in the first half than the second half. Hey Frank, um, this was about as good of a game collectively as you're going to get from AD and LeBron. They combined for 67. Uh, you had mentioned them kind of shouldering some of that burden early on in the season. What, what did you see from them? And then no one else had double figures. And kind of what did you see from everybody else offensively? Yeah, those two guys were spectacular. Um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, big nights from both of them. Um, you know, we're going to be pretty good if we get those type of performances. You know, we just have to be better defensively and, um, you know, just finish another action, uh, you know, from the rest of them. Uh, but, you know, this is, a, this is a team that is all new to each other, you know. So everybody's finding a way a little bit. Each day we get a little bit better and a little bit uh, more connected and, um, you know, watch the tape and get better from it.
how did you see Russ's game and you know what 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 accounted in your mind for some of the struggles he was having to uh, to get going? Well, it's yeah, him more than anybody. It's it's going to be an adjustment period, right? He's coming into our our culture, our system. Um, he's the new guy, and uh, you know. Um, He's got to find his way, you know, and it, it's difficult to you know, when you're used to to being, you know, the guy that has the ball most of the night to, to be able to, you know, play off of others like like Bron and AD. So it's just a little bit different for him. Um, you know, he's going to be great for us, uh, but it's going to be an adjustment period. Frank, uh, along those lines, um, how was it discouraging to see his like sort of like sort of passive approach to parts of the game um, off the ball? Is is that the like? Is that the line he's going to have to kind of walk this season in terms of figuring out when to kind of be himself? For like yeah, no, I mean, we want him to be aggressive, you know. Um, you know, that, that part's easy. You know, he'll stay aggressive. He'll stay in attack mode. You know, it's just figuring out, uh, you know, his teammates around him, and, you know, that will come. Hey, Frank, you talk about how it's going to be a learning curve of sorts for Russ. Uh, what do you think is going to be the biggest adjustment that he needs to make in order to play like he can play? With Russ? With Russ. He just needs time. You know, he just needs minutes on the floor with these guys. Um, you know, we didn't get a lot of it in, in the preseason, you know, because we got veteran, we got a veteran team. And, um, you know, he just needs time. You know, the more we're on the, on the floor together, the more we're watching film uh, together the next day, you know, he'll just get a little more, more and more comfortable. We saw... Um some uh, significant minutes for Rondo tonight, and was that a scripted thing, or were you kind of looking to see what you could do with it? And, and what is the plan for him, kind of as you move forward with this group? Yeah, we'll see. Um, you know, we're, we're depleted at the at the perimeter spot right now with Talon and Monk and Ellington. You know, all those guys being out. Um, you know, we uh, we just signed Avery. You know, so we'll see where he fits. And, you know, Rogers is just somebody that I trust on the floor, you know, to, uh, to execute our system and, you know, to, to play. Um, <clears throat> but I can say I'm thankful. Um, I'm thankful for the opportunity to be there and um, ultimately be here. Um, I just want to take full advantage of this opportunity. And like I said, I'm just thankful. Um, Lakers gave me an opportunity to come back and um, give me a chance to <clears throat> help this team in any way I can. Obviously quite a, a different roster. Uh, LeBron and AD still on the floor, though. Were there some concepts there with Frank that were familiar to you to go back on that end, and, and what were the things that stood out for you? Yeah, um, you know, Coach told me that I potentially might not play tonight, and um, I just try to stay ready um, if my name was called, and it was. And I just want to go in there and, and just play hard. That was my focus. and. Um, Pick my spots, and LeBron found me on a on a few shots and uh, knocked them in. But um, uh, again, I'm just happy to be here and hope <clears throat> if I get an opportunity to be out there on the floor, I can just play hard and um, take whatever opportunities are given to me. Avery, good to see you. Welcome back. Um, Thanks. This situation is so unique from being here up through March 10th, when kind of the world sort of changes. To coming back, um, you know, playing here, but like then seeing the banner and all that. So I'm, I'm curious, what, what were the emotions and sort of wrapped up in all of that um, part of it, knowing kind of the way your journey here ended last? Um, I think I, the last preseason game, um, when I did the tribute, that was my first time back in the building um, since I played here. And um, I think all the emotions were during that. Um, being here now, I'm just. I'm just happy I'm here um, and more excited to get opportunities to play um, and, and show that I can help this team.